What's up everybody, Ninth Jim here bringing another VGC 2020 Pokemon Sword and Shield competitive video. Today we're going to be talking about Mudsdale, a mono ground type, awesome Pokemon, super super bulky, really good attack stat, awesome Pokemon in general. Has two different ways of playing him, today we're going to be going over both. Both are very very similar, only changing a couple of, or one IV, just making it speed IV because of Truck Room, we're changing its ability and its nature. That's all we have to do to change this Pokemon. We're using the same move set, the same item, and the same EV spread for both of them. So we'll go over that here in a moment. Um, first off, I want to talk about both of its abilities. They're both really, really good. So he has access to two really amazing abilities. One being own tempo, which it cannot be confused, and then also blocks intimidate. Now this is good for two reasons. First off, obviously blocking intimidate is very powerful on a physically offensive Pokemon in a format that has multiple very good intimidate users and going to have more looking at you landorus and uh yeah so that's pretty good own tempo is good for that now the reason that being unable to be confused is good is because we have prankster grimmsnarl here with swagger so you swagger your M mudsdale it gets plus two in attack essentially a weakness policy and then it doesn't get confused so you just get plus two for free which is really cool and a blocks intimidate so really the only thing that your opponent can do is burn him which is really cool that that's so powerful we also have access to uh to pokemon with safeguard things like togekiss things like arcanine both that could go on this team and set up safeguard bring out own, tem own tempo swagger it and then you're looking at a plus two right off the bat plus two attack block intimidate mudsdale super powerful you dynamax it it's so bulky it's really awesome and then his other ability that we have access to is stamina which boosts the defense stat every time it's hit by an attack this is nothing new this is usually the way you'll see a mudsdale however own tempo is another powerful way and that's going to be our focus today is the own tempo with grim snarl swagger it's a really cool combo i'm gonna uh work on a team for that and set it, put up a, a video of that here in the next few days, maybe today, probably tomorrow, maybe the next day. We'll see how it goes. Um, but yeah, that's really sweet. So, all right, we'll go into weaknesses. Uh, immunity, electric, obviously we're ground, so we're immune to electric. We have resistances of poison and rock, which is pretty solid. And weaknesses is water, grass, ice. No quad effective weakness since we're just one type. Pretty solid overall. Uh, water, grass, ice are pretty prevalent in the meta. However... Excuse me. However, we have very good bulk in general, so being able to stop things like Arcanine, or not Arcanine, um, Gyarados, Milotic, uh, Dracovish, actually, I'll, I'll do a calc for that here in a, in a bit when we get to calcs, uh, because I didn't do that calc, although Dynamax Mudsdale is very bulky, and we'll talk about that here. So, first off, speed 35. I know what you're thinking. This screams Trick Room. Well, we have a Trick Room build as well as our own Tempo build, so we'll go into that in a bit. But 35 speed is pretty solid. You outspeed a lot of Trick Room Pokemon. You out you underspeed a lot of Trick Room Pokemon. So when you set Trick Room, you're pretty solid. When you're not under Trick Room, you're pretty solid. Uh, and we'll talk about that here in a minute. Of course, I have some speed tiers that we'll we'll go over after we get through these builds and stats. So then after that, we have some defenses. These are crazy good. HP 100, very solid. Defense 100, very solid. Special defense 85, very solid. We use Assault Vest, bring up that special defense. We use Max Steel Spike, Max uh, Quake, bringing up our defenses throughout the game. Mudsdale just becomes huge. And then if you're playing the Trick Room build with the Stamina, you have your constant defense stat boost every time you get hit, along with your Max Steel Spike slash Max Quake, along with very good Natural Bulk. We also invest into it, so we make, uh, as you probably see, it is HP Max invested, and same with Attack. We're not using much bulk investments other than the HP, but we Dynamax, max our HP, Dynamax, huge guy. He becomes huge. Um, and then for our attack, we have 125, which is very, very solid, and special attack 55, but that does not matter. We're not using anything special. So, yeah, that's pretty much it for Mudsdale. Mudsdale is really, really sweet. We're going to talk about some builds here. So the first build we have is the, uh, the own tempo with Grim Snarl. You swagger it, you get plus two for free, and then you're just killing uh, you we're running assault vest. We're only using attacking moves. No protect. No nothing like that assault vest patches up our 85 special defense, which is already very very good and Yeah, that's pretty much it. 
It's get big and kill everything. That's how we play in Mudsdale. So for our moves, we have high horsepower, which is our great... That sounded bad, sorry. High horsepower. High horsepower. Uh, our great stab move. Very, very high power. 95, 90, I believe 95. And 95 accuracy is a great move. It gives us access to max quake, which is very good, uh, boosting our defenses. And then we have... or special defenses and then we have rock slide which is just a very good rock rock move giving us access to to access giving us flinching abilities and then even though we're very slow we can only flinch a, a few things or under trick room we'll be able to flinch things and then we have close combat which gives us max knuckle as well which we're probably not going to use very frequently but it's there it's really good coverage just close combat and then for our last move we have heavy slam this can easily be iron head if you wanted it to be uh, and same with body press can could easily be close combat that's more for the stamina build is we'll be using body press that is in that is usually in a build for stamina so yeah and then we also have earthquake and facade on the side that we could use facade covers up our burn uh if you get burned facade just goes right through it and gives us double damage while also ignoring the burn damage so it's very powerful in general however i like to set up safeguard and play around that more i would rather not get burned in the first place than get burned and, and have to use just facade you know what i mean so that's kind of what we're going there and then earthquake if you have a bunch of immunities on your team you know like a braviary and a toga kiss or something or rotom you know you could throw that in there instead of high horsepower it's up to you and yeah and then for our evs we have hp at 100 or at 100 hp at 252 max invested and same with attack 252 max invested our four overflow is into defense and then we also have adamant nature giving us a boost in attack and a minus in special attack pretty self-explanatory for that it's a very basic spread you can definitely mess around with damage calcs however when i was doing damage calcs most of the time it just didn't matter for to pour in a few extra you could definitely pour in a bunch extra but this is just aggro you snarl or snarl you swagger up your boy he gets big he starts killing everything and you're looking pretty solid we could definitely invest into our defenses however i just wanted all attack that we can and then hp because this is your main dynamax pokemon 85 percent of the time you're going to be maxing this pokemon so yeah that is the first build for a second one like i said it's very very similar trick room build zero speed iv we just make it as little speed as possible and then we change our nature to brave giving us a plus attack but minus in speed just so that we're hindering nature so we're the, that we're the slowest possible and like i said i have some uh some speed tiers and you'll see the differences and you can make your decision from there and then we're also using stamina for the trick room build since we don't since we're probably not going to use any grim snarl or swagger just in general uh it's not really that useful stamina is very good for that build just being able to stamina take a bunch of hits body press start dealing a huge amount of damage under trick room so we're pretty fast so yeah that's about it for this one although we are going to talk about a couple of little synergies first excuse me first off grim snarl obviously like i was saying the swagger combo is very good grim snarl has access to prankster giving us a plus one in speed priority so swagger comes out before mudsdale can possibly attack and then he gets big dynamax is up take some hits deals so much damage it's a very very strong combo then we also have gastrodon here usually what you'll have it in the back you'll be able to switch into grim snarl or switch into it from grim snarl cover things like dracovish cover things uh gyarados milotic a lot of pokemon rotom wash something in my mouth anyway then we also have arcanine intimidate is good boosting our defenses setting out uh burns Arcanine also has access to safeguard things like other safeguard users in general togekiss uh, I think whimsicott gets safeguard. There's a lot of Pokemon. Or there's a bunch of Pokemon that get safeguard I got tail gets safeguard. There's a lot of Pokemon that you can use in this spot I think getting safeguard up is very very useful However, if you don't want to prioritize that you can always run facade on your team uh, or, or on your set on Mudsdale, like I was saying, that way you can get through burn. It's just important to have one way through burn because that is the most common way of getting around Mudsdale. And as you'll see here, that's why I have the Arcanine in the scary spot because it has access to Will Wisp. Intimidate doesn't get us, but it can can Will Wisp Mudsdale, nullifying our damage a lot. A lot of our damage output is just gone and then start throwing out snarls stopping our partner pokemon potentially will-o-wisp 
it has safeguards so we can't will-o-wisp other Pokemon with our Arcanine. It could just be a problem in general, and we really don't want to get burned. Uh, for the Gyarados, that's mostly just to symbolize some strong Pokemon. You want some aggressive Pokemon in the back just so that you can be able to Mudsdale, just start raising all of your defenses, throw out some really strong Pokemon that are decently bulky and then become more bulky with our boosts and then just start doing a lot of damage, and that's kind of the goal. And then for Milotic, Milotic also has access to Scald, which is, of course, super effective. Special special attack, which is less than defense, so or actually more than defense after boosted with a Sod Vest, but it can burn. That That's really where it comes from. And then for our Trick Room build, we have Bronzong, Dusclops, uh, Mimikyu, Gothitelle, you know, Ryu Nucleus, just Pokemon that set Trick Room. You need a good Trick Room setter. And then Torkoal, you want a secondary Trick Room Sweeper, potentially the Gastrodon, the Cor Conkledor, something like that. And then we have Arcanine, good Pokemon mid-speed. It gives you Stamina, so or Stamina. It gives Intimidate so that you can be a little bit more bulky. Stamina, or pl Stamina plus Intimidate plus Burns with the Will-O-Wisp. Will Physical Pokemon are doing nothing to your Pokemon, and that's pretty much where it is from there. On to our speed tiers here. I move myself. Let's get really little. And so for our first build with uninvested zero, so we're not hindering, we're at 55 speed tier, which is pretty solid. You outspeed a couple of good things here. 45 Conkledor, 40 Rhyperior, 39 Gastrodon. These are all hindering nature. So if they are playing Trick Room, they are all going to be at zero hindering nature. So we're going to be outspeeding all of them before Trick Room sets up. However, Trick Room Pokemon tend to... Uh, what am I trying to say here? However, Trick Room Pokemon usually are a little bulky. Gastronon, Rhyperior, Conkledor are not exceptions. So we won't be killing, but we'll get the first hit in. We'll be able to set up a burn, potentially set up Safeguard, uh, and kind of get rolling. So that's pretty good. A couple of things that do outspeed us, unfortunately, is Hindering 63, Gothitelle. That is pretty unfortunate against Trick Room teams. If Gel uh, Gothitelle or Jellicent are their Trick Room setters, they are faster. However, Trick Room does have reverse priority, so we'll still be pretty solid there, and that's pretty sweet. Uh, after that, we also have Mudsdale 36. That is our hindering. So in Trick Room, Mudsdale actually outspeeds hindering Gastron, Rhyperior, and Conkledor, which is very relevant. And then we also have um, outsped under Trick Room because Mudsdale is you'll usually set up Trick Room. However, if you're up against a Trick Room team, if they don't have those threats, you may not want to set up Trick Room. But if they do have Rhyperior and Gastron and Conkledor, you'll definitely want to set up Trick Room since you underspeed them, and then you can outspeed them under Trick Room. And then we have Snorlax at 31 and Dusclops at 27, both hindering. Not all Snorlaxes are going to be hindering nature. Not all Snorlax will even be mid speed in general, so you may be outspeeding a couple of Snorlaxes. It depends. But after a curse, you'll always be outspeeding Snorlax or underspeeding it under Trick Room. And then we also have tw uh, 27 Dusclops which is pretty low, and that's pretty relevant because Dusclops also has access to Will-O-Wisp, being able to burn our Mudsdale. However, we are faster, so we'll be able to potentially set up a safeguard with our partner Pokemon like Togekiss or uh, Arcanine, something like that. And then under 27, we also have our very, very slow boy club, the Ferrothorn and Torkoal at 20. I didn't have room, but I did want to mention them. They're very slow. And they're going to be outspeeding us every time under Trick Room. And we're going to be outspeeding them every time out of Trick Room. So anyway, we're going to go on to our damage calcs here. Damage calcs, uh, I have a good couple of them. Not all of them are the most relevant ones. They're fairly useful, though, I would say. So first off, we have 252 Attack Gyarados Max Geyser. This is Jolly Nature. Max Geyser into our d Undynamaxed Mudsdale. We have 52 to 61% what like that's so crazy we just don't care we we just don't care that's so insane max geyser should be doing way more damage it's just crazy max invested hp very very powerful oh excuse me and then actually is that maxed hold on one second am i going crazy am i going crazy i always do this so all right so max geyser into okay so i i am going crazy that is dynamaxed so be careful if you but 
like I said, we usually will Dynamax, but it does 52 to 61% into our Dynamaxed MUDs down. Let me go ahead and, oh, Dynamax. So that's into our Dynamaxed MUDs down. We don't want to confuse anybody here. But like I was saying, Dynamax, we want to go ahead and be Dynamaxing all the time. I believe actually all of these are Dynamaxed. Yeah, all of these are Dynamax. So keep that in mind when when you're looking at these calcs. All Mudsdales are Dynamax. I should really know, uh, say that at the beginning. Hopefully nobody paused and then wants to read there all the damage calcs alone without knowing that. Anyway, Dynamax Mudsdale. So all of these are Dynamax calcs. So 252 attack Gyarados. Max Geyser into us is doing 52 to 61%. It's going to double... Uh, it's going to two-hit KOs. However, we do return Oko with 252 plus attack Mo Mudsdale Max Rockfall into the Gyarados, hitting 112 to 134%. Very, very powerful. Just killing it off in general. And this is plus zero, so if we swaggered, we're killing him. Like, a lot. And all of these are going... Most of these calcs, except for the last one... No, all of these calcs are actually going to work for the Trick Room Pokemon as well. So if you need to, you know do that anyway then we have Torkoal here solar beam into our salt vest mudsdale only doing 21 to 25 percent that is pitiful we are just fine with that it doesn't matter same with the scald from the milotic for special attack milotic scald this is without competitive boost it's only doing 17 to 20 percent even with competitive uh, competitive boost it's only doing 35 to 40 percent that's like that's laugh at damage but if it burns us with the Scald, then we're like, oh, now we do no damage. And actually, we just do no damage to Milotic in general, to be honest. Like, I think our Max Quake will do, like, 40%, maybe. And at, at plus two, we're still not Okoing, which is pretty unfortunate. But it's just, like, keep that in mind when you're doing this. And then, so this is a Weakness Policy Proct Rhyperior. Plus two, 252 plus attack Rhyperior Max Hailstorm, a move that they usually don't even have. However, it is an option, Ice Punch for coverage. But Max Hailstorm, 252 plus Weakness Policy Proct only does 82 to 97%. And I know what you're saying, like, only does that much. We live. That's the biggest point, is we, we tank that attack. Now, this is Dynamax, so keep that in mind. However... Boom. We live. Very, very strong. However, our clapback is not insane. 252 plus attack Mudsdale Max Quake only hitting 35 to 42% into a 68 HP. However, Rhyperior is typically uh, more invested. It's, it's typically 258, 252. So our high horsepower max high horsepower is doing 31 to 37 percent if it's max invested instead of 35 to 42 percent doing a little bit less damage so keep that in mind as well and even if you're plus two from swagger you're not getting there we're only hitting you know, like the 70 to 84 percent however if you swagger twice you should oko so that's pretty cool just keep that in mind as well so swagger is very very powerful with own tempo in sum up th that is all i have by the way um, in sum up, Muzzle is really cool. You can play it two ways, Trick Room or Own Tempo. Really interesting. I really like this Pokemon. Um, look forward to some battle videos including Mudsdale, whether it's Own Tempo or Stamina. Most likely going, the first one that I'm making is going to be Own, own Tempo. Grimmsnarl, Swagger, Shenanigans, very, very powerful. Setting up a safeguard with something, maybe Togekiss. I'm leaning Togekiss, but Arcanine is a good option as well. And we'll see. I'm going to weigh my options and see if there's anything else that we want to do as well for that. But anyway, we're about to hit 20 minutes. And that's all I have, so this is going to be it for this video. If you like this kind of content, like and subscribe. If you want to see Pokemon in general, in general. If you if you want to see any certain Pokemon in videos of battles, or if you want to see them in guides, comment them, you know? I'm open to suggestions. I do a lot of submissions so or requests, so do that. Go down in the comments, like it up, subscribe, do everything. We're growing, we're still growing, and let's keep it going. Thank you so much for watching, and that's going to be it for this video, so goodbye.